We're here with Baroness Scott. We're here at the Veterans Hub in Wilton to talk about the Armed Forces Day Parade. Yes, we've got a wonderful parade coming on, starting at 10 o'clock, which you need to be there a lot earlier in the city, um, and it, it will be a fantastic event. We've got probably nearly 1,400 soldiers, uh, more military personnel uh, uh, actually marching through the city. Uh, we have horses, we have military vehicles, we have police, we have veterans, we have cadets. Um, it'll go, the parade itself will go on for more than half an hour. It will be started and it will finish, I'm not sure I should tell you this, but the Red Arrows will start it and they will finish it. And uh, we're very excited because we've got the Princess Royal coming and she will take the salute outside the Guildhall um, with lots of other VIP people, people from uh, government, people from the military. And so if you want to see a fantastic parade, uh, one of the best that this country's ever produced, I'm saying, then come to Salisbury on, on Saturday morning. And then um, after that, there'll be lots to do in the city. The, the, the parade itself, is, is is, the route is quite long, so um, it's, it meanders all through the city from the close to the Guildhall Square. So um, there will be plenty of places for the public to actually stand safely behind barriers and watch it. So don't feel because you can't get to the Guildhall, because that might be very busy, that you're going to miss it. No, stand along that parade line, you'll see where it is, and uh, there'll be lots to do, lots of people keeping you, uh, you know, informed of what's going on. So don't don't feel you'll miss out if you're not near the Guildhall because you won't. There's lots going on in the rest of the city.